And now, First Warn 5 weather with meteorologist Andrew Chung. Welcome back everyone. As expected, we did see a few showers this afternoon thanks to the sea breeze, primarily in the lower and mid valley. Now these showers will continue to fall apart. We're still seeing a few showers right on Hargill moving off to the north and west. We saw a few sprinkles here in Westlico and across the border as well. So nothing too major for this afternoon. A few showers though in the Brownsville area earlier. Temperatures right now 99 degrees in McAllen, 90 in Brownsville, 92 in Harlingen, 92 in Westlico. Humidity is 38%. We've got winds from the east southeast of 13 miles an hour. So it is going to be a warm and muggy Sunday night with partly cloudy skies. The temperatures will be in the upper 80s at 7 p.m., lower 80s at 9 p.m. and 11 o'clock tonight. And there is a chance for some patchy overnight fog. We did see some patchy fog very early this morning in parts of the valley. All right, folks, the tropics are very busy. Hurricane season does continue. It does not end until November 30th. And here is Hurricane Jose in the western Atlantic Ocean off the coast of the U.S. It has maximum winds of 90 miles an hour, moving to the north at 9 miles an hour. Now, tropical storm watches have been issued for the Mid-Atlantic and New England coast because of Jose. Even though the forecast track uh, potentially keeps the center away from land areas, the eastern U.S., the east coast of the U.S. will feel its effects thanks to the uh, heavy surge of high surf uh, due to Jose. Jose expected to make a turn back toward the east and then maybe loop back toward the south by Friday and weekend. Lee is not a concern to us. Lee is expected to weaken further. It is a tropical depression. Maximum winds are 35 miles per hour. Should become remnant low perhaps by tomorrow or tomorrow night. But we are watching Hurricane Maria, and this is a really insult to injury for people in the Caribbean who have been hit already by Irma. And Hurricane warnings already up for the northern lesser Antilles because of Maria. So Maria right now is a Category 1 hurricane with maximum winds of 75 miles per hour, moving to the west northwest at 15 miles an hour. Here's the forecast track. This is the official forecast track from the Hurricane Center. And look at this. It takes Maria right over Puerto Rico as well as Hispaniola and perhaps the southeastern Bahamas. At this point, it is still too soon to tell whether what impacts uh, Irma, I'm sorry, not Irma, Maria might have on the mainland U.S. We'll have to keep watching here, but let me show you the spaghetti models and they want to take Maria toward the northwest uh, through the Bahamas, perhaps, and then maybe a more to the north. But keep in mind, these models could very, very well change once again. Back here in the valley, the southeasterly flow at the surface will continue. This model optimistic on some spotty showers and thunderstorms tomorrow at 4 p.m., especially for the lower and mid valley. Things die down for tomorrow night. I think our rain chances are a little less for Tuesday. This model thinks there's a chance for some spotty showers at 2 p.m. on Tuesday. We'll keep in at least a 10% chance of rain on Tuesday, 20% for your Monday. On the water, we'll have winds out of the east to southeast at 10 to 15 knots. The bay waters are a moderate chop. Next tide is a low tide at 750 tonight, and the seas are 2 to 4 feet. Watch out for some spotty showers or thunderstorms offshore. So your forecast for tonight, partly cloudy and muggy with temperatures in the mid-70s. There is that chance for some patchy overnight fog. Then for tomorrow, partly sunny skies return. We may have a coastal shower in the morning, otherwise a 20% chance of some spotty afternoon sea breeze showers or thunderstorms. High temperatures in the mid-90s. For uh, West Lincoln, we should see upper 90s to triple digits for McAllen, the Upper Valley, and Edinburgh. And here's that seven day forecast. The high temperatures should remain in the mid 90s for much of the week. We'll call it mainly dry for Tuesday and Wednesday, meaning a 10% chance of a shower. Still hot, still humid, partly cloudy and partly sunny skies. Then a 20% chance of some spotty showers returns to the forecast for your Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The morning lows are in the mid to upper 70s. And sadly, uh, we don't have any uh, cool fronts to talk about yet, so it's going to stay just the hot and humid for the rest of the week into the weekend.